we can finally play Siege. The servers have been fixed. It has been almost a week they have been down and been playing up. It has been awful. But we're back. We're doing the top five best guns in Rainbow Six Siege. So to start with, we have got in the number five spot, the G36C. Look how good this gun actually is. It is incredible. It's got very low recoil. You can stick a grip on it if you can't control it that well, but for me, I prefer to use the angled foregrip. It, if you look at the stats, it's got 38 damage, 780 fire rate, and 50 mobility, and 30 bullets in a mag. So this gun is literally so good. It is literally like the perfect assault rifle that you can use in Rainbow Six Siege. And you're able to use this on Ash and Diana, which are both incredibly powerful operators in Rainbow Six Siege. With this gun, it also comes with the 1.5 scope, which is nuts. The 1.5 is the best scope you can use in Siege. I don't know whether Siege is going to do something about the 1.5 scope or not. Some people are saying they're going to add it to every operator or take it away. I have no clue, but the 1.5 is just perfect. So these are the attachments that I would run. I'd always go with the 1.5, the compensator, and the angled grip for this G360, and this is an absolute monster. Once you get a hang of the recoil, it is incredible all you have to do is pull down there's no like drag to the right or left i think there's a slight curve to the right as you can see down here on the recoil pattern but other than that it's a crazy good gun which brings me into the number four spot we have got this gun right here the p10 roni this gun is incredible this would have been in the number one spot if they didn't nerf this gun. I think a while ago back it had 21 bullets in it, but now they've nerfed it down to 16. It's still incredibly overpowered. I mean, the damage in the fire rate is really good. You also get the 1.5 scope on this, which makes it an incredibly good gun. Overall, I think Mozzie is just a very overpowered operator. If you look at this recoil pattern as well, it's got hardly any recoil, so as long as you can learn the recoil pattern, this gun is incredibly good. But these are the attachments that I run. It might be different, you might have a different preference on it, but I always go 1.5 extended barrel vertical grip. This gun is so good. I mean, look at it. It's a beauty, baby. Oh yes. Oh, where am I going now? For the number three spot, we have got Smoke. And it's M590 OA1. I think that's how you say it, but I just call it the M59. This shotgun is incredibly good. If you look at the stats of this, it's literally got 48 damage. That's not a bullet, my friend. That is a pellet. One of the pellets is 48 damage. So if you shoot someone point blank with this, that is 200 damage. Do you know how incredibly overpowered the shotgun is? It is crazy. The range on it is really good as well for a shotgun. Like, you can shoot people from miles away. It's got sh seven shells, so, I mean, that's plenty for a shotgun, to be honest with you. You don't need more than that, especially with the damage of this thing. You're going to be clearing people out. I mean, the max shots you'll need is two from a distance, probably. Other than that, if you're shooting people from range of a shotgun, I don't know what you're doing. You need to change your playstyle, okay? Obviously, there's no recoil, really. It's a shotgun. It's a pump, so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, the, the attachments I always run for this. I like the red dot A on shotguns. I don't know why, but I just like it. It's just like a small little sight and it doesn't take up too much space. So that's the one I like to go for. And I always run a laser. I just feel that there's more damage when I use a laser. I don't know why. I just think a laser on shotgun does bits. So I always go for the laser. Oh, this camo as well. Oh, I packed this camo. I mean, look at it. Look how sick it is. I got so lucky. I don't even know how I got it, to be honest. I literally just whacked open a pack, and this bad boy slipped out. Look at that. Beautiful. I think you got a charm on here. What charm should I stick on? I'll stick a baguette on. Easily the best shotgun, but yeah, I'd put it in the number three's place, just because there are other guns that are better than this, as you'll see later on in the video. If you are a solo player like myself, Smoke is a really good operator to use, just for his gun and his ability. It is incredible. The number two spot I have got. Warden's MPX. I'll say Valkyries as well, but preferably Warden's just because it has the 1.5 scope. This gun is so good. The recoil is so minimal. It's got no recoil whatsoever. It's got good damage, a good fire rate, and it's got 30 bullets in a mag. So this gun, I'm sure everybody's used it. It's like the most popular gun there is. It is incredibly overpowered. But these are the attachments that I run. You... I mean, 
You could go angled foregrip. Basically, angled foregrip is how fast you ADS. So, whether you want to take the recoil control or how fast you aim down your sights. For me, I prefer the vertical grip on the MPX. I use vertical grip 1.5. And weirdly, I think a suppressor goes well with this gun. I either go suppressor or the compensator for this. Both are equally as good. It's just a suppressor I just prefer for some reason i don't know why i like the suppressor right leave me alone and i never never run a laser if you're playing with a laser sight on that isn't a shotgun sort your head out because there's no need for it whatsoever okay what camos have i actually got for this i really want black eyes for this mpx can you get black eyes for the mpx because i have never seen it before but yeah bone chills incredible camo look, look at these i bet a lot of you don't even remember this camo this is an old camo this used to be a uh, epic camo this is when it came out yeah, that was all the way. I think that was when Habana came out. I think this camo was. So it is Warden and Valkyrie that have these guns. So they're both incredible. The only difference is with Valkyrie, you've got no 1.5 scope. But it's still incredible with a hollow or 1.5. Now then, time for the bread and butter. The number one spot. This gun is disgustingly overpowered. I cannot tell you how good it is. Like, the fact that Ubisoft have not nerfed this gun is stupid. So, the number one spot I have gone for, Mavericks M4. This gun, I don't know what it is. It is so good. It's got 44 damage. It's got a 750 fire rate and it's got 30 bullets in a mag. And to top all of that, it's got the 1.5. How is this gun still knocking about in Rainbow Six Siege? Why has it not been nerfed yet? I honestly do not know this gun look how good it is it is incredibly overpowered like if you are running this you are an elite member of rainbow six siege and if you know about the m4 you know the rules all right yeah for this gun i always go 1.5 compensator and vertical grip i wouldn't go angled grip for this because i mean it has got a bit of recoil slight bit of recoil but it's very easy to control with this gun as it just goes straight up. So you just got to pull down on your stick or on your mouse, whatever you're playing on console or PC. But yeah, so they're the top five guns that I would list in Rainbow Six Siege. You might have a different preference, who knows, but that's my preference and I stick by that. This M4 is incredibly overpowered for Rainbow Six Siege. It is so good. Let me know in the comments whether you've got a different preference on what guns you like, what you'd swap around, what you'd replace them with. A lot of people might have mentioned Jackal's AR, and I was thinking of putting this C7E in. I was thinking about it. I was very close to putting it in. But I just feel like it's not as good as the guns I've listed. But this gun is still really good, so I'll chuck another bonus one in there for you. Jackal's Assault Rifle is incredibly good if you ever want to use that. So anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to drop me a like, comment and subscribe as it does help me a lot and I'll catch you in the next one.